This was the name of the spirit who was behind everything. A supernatural force that had been creating all of this horror. A force that had assembled an entire army of zombies. A monster. No, not a monster. He had done some terrible things, but he had also protected me. So I felt like I had a duty to save him from a terrible fate. But first I needed to meet him. And that was going to be much more difficult than I thought. In the Mayan city of Uxmal, there was the Koba, the most sacred statue of Huracan. But Shadow got to it first, and stole the statue while he unleashed his mercenaries against the native people of the city. We joined them and tried to help them fight against those bandits. It was at the lowest point that Huracan arrived and saved us. We might have lost the Koba, but we were still alive and the search could continue. Have you found anything useful? The Codex has a lot of information on Huracan, like the laws of his people and their rituals. Maybe we could recreate a ritual and see what happens. Oh, of course. We'll stuff a few feathers in our hats, dance a little, mumble a bunch of words we don't even understand, and who knows what would happen. Huracan might like what we're doing and decide that he wants to come down and play with us. Oh, yes. He'll play with us, all right. He'll play a game where he blows us all away like we're twigs. But you saw what he did back in Uxmal. I don't think he wants to hurt us, but I do agree with you on one point. We have to do this our own way. I've been over this with you before, Jim. These kinds of spirits can only be reached if they actually want you to reach them. And that looks like the case with Huracan. I don't think he wants you to reach him. I'm not going to give up. There has to be another way. I lived on Skull Island for many years, and I felt Huracan's presence and the extent of his anger. He's not the type to sit down for a chat so you can get to know him. Ben is absolutely right, Jim. You've always been led by your good intentions, but not everybody is, especially not a demon who brings the dead back to life just so he can use them to wreak havoc on the world. Huracan isn't described as a demon, but a wise spirit. He's just upset over the destruction of his people, and we have to show him that seeking out vengeance is not the way. Then that's what we have to do. As the young medicine man, that is the destiny you have to fulfill. But I warn you, Huracan is not someone who seeks the advice of mere mortals. That's right. Just like how you can't ask Uncle Neptune to stop a storm. And don't think I haven't tried. But not once have I ever been able to halt a single wave. Then it's settled. We're going to keep going to Skull Island. This is our last chance. And once we get there, we'll figure out what to do. I'm frightened of that island, Jim. It's an evil place. I don't really like that island either, Jim. Ben has a good point. Huh? Well, we don't have a choice. That island is the only place left where we might be able to find the key to stopping all this madness. Now set a course for the southeast. Well, why are you just staring at him like a bunch of fish? Your captain gave you an order. Now, helmsman, point the bow southeast. Get to your positions now! Cedric, what have you heard from the soldiers? Were they able to fight back and drive out the pirates, or were they all defeated? As someone who works in the mansion, you must have overheard something. There hasn't been any news from the soldiers. The governor's the only one at the mansion. He says everything's fine, but I don't know. You mean that not one of the soldiers stayed behind at the mansion? But if the pirates attack, then who's going to protect us? I don't know, and Lord Blade's assurances aren't good enough for me anymore. <sighs> If the soldiers haven't sent back any news, then to me that means they must have been defeated, and the pirates could be here any day. Lock yourself in, Rachel. Bar the doors and don't let anyone in. May God in heaven protect us. 
Come on, Tom, hurry, come quick! Just offshore, what are all those ships? Black sails, get in, hurry! How funny to see my own flagship return, especially after I'd sent it off to its doom just yesterday. At least they were recruited just in time for the great mission. It's exactly as I wanted it to be. Soon the Black Fleet will sail off to devastate other foreign lands. Then the nations that destroyed my people will be annihilated. There won't be a single trace left of the dogs who have defiled my land. And what about me? Then will you keep your promise? Once you have completed your mission, you will be free. You'll be brought back to life again. This entire invincible fleet will be yours, to do whatever you wish. And you will be able to conquer the whole world. That's what you've always told me. But I don't trust you! Hmm? Because why wouldn't you then get rid of a pathetic human like me? I see that my word to you is not enough. Huh? Be still. I am not upset. Trust me. But what? What did you just do? I've removed the bullet that you've been carrying in your heart. The bullet that almost took you. You have furthered huh? my plan and served me well. This bullet belongs to you now, to show that I will keep my word to you. Uh, but... but my heart... Don't worry. It still isn't beating. Once you have completed the mission, it will resume beating as it once did when you were alive. Huracan's word is important, and he always keeps it. Yes, I will accomplish the mission. I will go fulfill your vengeance. Then I will go and fulfill my vengeance. And this time, Silver won't escape. I swear that with this bullet from the man who tried to take my life, I will return the favor, eye for an eye, heart for a heart. <laughs> Don't rejoice yet. The ways of destiny have sometimes been known to be very intricate. Set a course towards the Atlantic. Set sail for Europe. I think it's safe for us to come out now. Are you sure they're gone? Yeah, but they'll be back. Wait, weren't those our soldiers on the port? They look so strange. Look, it's that stranger, the one who works for the governor.
My lord, you've been working with Lord Blade. Where did he go? What has happened to the soldiers? Where is everybody? They will come back. Right now, I'm on my own But what mission. if the pirates attack? Have we stopped them or not? The city is defenseless. There's no need to panic. I'm going to the mansion to send a message asking for reinforcements. How long will it take them to get here? What do we do till then? We'll arrive soon. The city is perfectly safe, at least for now. that I would leave it behind forever. And now that's where I'm going. Oh, island! Over there! Very bad! Oh. But why, Tracy? What is Jim hoping to find there? He wants to find an answer to this problem. What kind of answer does he need? I don't know, little sister. I really don't know. You sure have a good crew. These are difficult times. I know. I wish I could change that. If you don't know what to do, pretend you do. Make something up. I can't lie to them. You guys are my friends. If I don't share everything with you, who will I share it with then? You would only have to tell them a little white lie. Tell them you're looking for something hidden on the island. You know. Something like a treasure? No, no. Something magical. Something that can help us. Get creative. I'm not good at making that stuff up. And what good would that do? It'd be something to motivate the crew, to give them a goal, a purpose, something to do. Because right now, they're drifting. Uh, huh? It's terrible. Mama Kanda, what's going on? Mama, what did you hear? Out there, I heard something horrible, and it's moving within the ocean. Something monstrous. I don't see anything. It's all clear. Ben, we're changing our whole course. Head due north. But if there's a monster, shouldn't we set sail away from it? Away from monsters! Ah! Hmm? Ah! What could it be? Jojo, scan the north horizon. Let's take a quick look at what this terrible thing might be. It is a strong evil presence. Just enormous and unending. I see hmm? black sails. It's Blade's fleet of zombies. There are so many of them. They're covering the whole horizon. Yes, from here those hills look like an entire black forest. Big danger! Ah! All crew to battle stations! Danger! Look, Jim, they extend as far as the eye can see. There are hundreds of ships there. I have never felt an evil presence like this before. Never. Hmm, silver? Must be out there somewhere. Somewhere in the Caribbean. But this is not the time to hunt him down. Not now. Soon the world will be all mine. Then he won't escape me. Becoming the master of the world will make it well worth the wait. Now point the bow to starboard. Bow to starboard! Ah. I heard him, you old bird. Thank you. We have to get back on the same route we were on before. Jojo, make sure they don't follow us! They aren't going to follow us. Their entire fleet is now fully assembled, and they're definitely sailing off in order to achieve some larger goal. Are you kidding me? For Blade, catching us is the largest goal in the world! But he has no real control over the fleet. Huracan controls it, and Blade can't disobey. Which means he can't spend his time chasing us. So this is why you wanted to go back to Skull Island. If we can stop Huracan, we can stop Blade and the Black Army. Yes, it's true. The young medicine man must go there to try and meet Huracan. <laughs> but I thought you said that trying to meet him at all was almost impossible. Well, let's say the odds aren't quite stacked in our favor. But what else are we supposed to do? So we're no better off than we were. We're just grasping at straws. Yeah, 
Just the sort of thing a crew should never hear their captain admit to. Long John, we're not just another crew. We're all a family. It's pointless for me to keep secrets. I agree with Jim. We are a family, and a pretty one at that. We're getting close to something. Some kind of whirlpool. Hi, Uncle Neptune's trident. All I want is just one moment of peace today. Wobble! Danger! Wobble! Ah! It doesn't seem so big. Maybe we can get around it. I can see it's starting to get bigger very quickly. I don't think there's a way we can avoid it. Ben, turn us! Another 20 degrees, hurry! <laughs> Jojo, come down. It's safer on the deck. <sighs> we keep getting closer. It's still growing larger at an incredible speed. In the name of Uncle Neptune, I don't get it. I've never seen a whirlpool of this size before. Huracan! What do we do now? We can only hope that the whirlpool will disappear before we sink. Wait, it could disappear? That could still happen? It should at some point, but we don't know if it will happen before we reach the bottom of the vortex. What if we reach the bottom of the vortex? Well, then we'll be stuck at the bottom of the ocean. No, Huracan doesn't want us to drown. He just wants to get our attention. You mean that we're stuck in a trap set by that demon? It looks like we've been stopped from sinking deeper. This is impossible. This whirlpool should be dragging us to the bottom! How? It means that Horikon had to save all of us in order to get to one of us. So you think he's agreeing to see me? Follow your fate, Jim. That's the only way you've been able to make it this far. I'll return, Long John. I promise you. Aye, aye, Captain. And until then, I'll watch the ship for you. Peace! Uh, uh. I am not your enemy. I was brought here by the will of Huracan. Can you hear me? He's the one who called me. Prisoner, because you're part of the tribe who chose to attack us. You burned our houses, destroying what was rightfully ours. No! I mean, yes. 
You could say I am part of the tribe that did all those things to you, but I haven't done anything. What have you to say for yourself? How do you defend yourself against these terrible accusations? But I told you, I didn't do those things. I would never do any of that to you. That is not enough. If fathers do not pay for their sins, then they must be passed down to their children. So it is written. But that isn't fair. The law is the law, and for the crimes they committed, I sentence you to- No, that's enough! You called me, Huracan. Are we going to talk? Everything you see before what? you is merely an image, huh? a memory. Huh? Huracan? You wanted to meet, young medicine man, so I've let you come to me. Are you afraid? There have been many times you could have destroyed me, but you didn't. You've saved me instead. Indeed I have, because I have felt that your destiny might be intertwined with mine. Well, I have to stop everything that you've started. I know that there is a hope that dwells deep inside your heart, and I can also see the foolish pride that such hope generates. The pride that allows you to see yourself as a hero. I never asked to be the hero, nor do I know how to be one. Follow me. You see, these were my people, until the day they met your elders who arrived here with their armies and iron weapons, and what wasn't destroyed by their iron was left to be finished off by the spread of their evil diseases. I know. I know how much pain you feel over this. I felt that pain too. Pain is just a part of our lives, for men as it is for gods, but your hands will not be the ones that will cleanse it because yours are the hands of the enemy. But I've never been anybody's enemy. These are all just illusions, young medicine man. We're born with our enemies in place. You have learned this is true. Huracan, but I am a doctor just like you've said, and I have to cure anybody suffering regardless of where they might come from. I have already heard all of your lies before. You only say these things to protect the wolves that leapt at the throat of my people. I'm not telling you any lies. I'm just trying- To stop me. Just like him. Huh? Warnana, Pachanman Visha. You mean Shadow? He's the one who took your Koba. Yes, he did take it to stop me, just like you've been trying to do. No, I mean yes, but in more peaceful terms. Through one way or another, you both want the same thing. And because of it, you are both my enemies. But I'm not hurting anyone like he is. But you are. You've been taking a lot of lives for a senseless act in vengeance, and you think it's a good thing. My people are fighting yours, and so there are casualties. This is the way it has always been, and will be. Huh? 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 So now, let's not waste any more words. This is your chance to try and stop me. Huh. Hit me? and I'll give up. You have my promise that I will. Fight back, attack me, come on! No, I don't want to. That's enough, stop it. Mm. No! Take it easy, Jim. The whirlpool ran its course and we were able to fish you out of the ocean. You're okay. And Huracan? No, I failed. Huh? I have something we can use to destroy Huracan and free you from his service. I will wait for you on Skull Island. Of course. There's no way I can trust Huracan. I'm just as expendable as all the others. In the end, he'll destroy me anyway. I order you to follow this route to the Azores, and don't stop to wait for me! Prepare a lifeboat for me, now! So what other choices do we have? We tried everything and it didn't do any good at all! But we can't just give up like that! No, we won't <gasps> give up! I have lost the battle, but the war isn't over yet, so for now we keep going to Skull Island. If you say so, young medicine man, then that's exactly what we must do. Yes, to the island! That's where it all started, and that's where we have to go to finish this. 